To earn some extra credit for quizzes number six, seven, eight, and nine, what we're going to try is a new way uh, to communicate, and that is using VoiceThread. So if you type VoiceThread.com, you'll land into uh, this home page, and you will need to register for this. So just click on register, and just type your name, uh, first name and your last name, the email, and then a password and then it's going to ask you to type in the words over here. So you can click on register and once you register you should be ready to go. So once you've signed in you can go to assignments, extra, and then you can click on the voice thread here. Now uh, the way to do this is to this is an Click opportunity on play. for you to make up some points on your quiz number six. And what's going to happen is that for each slide, I have uh, included a comment. Some of them would have comments with um, with uh, video, some are just audio. So whenever you move on to the next slide, you can just press uh, the play button. This slide covers some ground, and then you'll see the information there. And when you get past the first two slides, the opening slide and the overview slash ground rule slides, you'll actually get to the, to the uh, main part of the quiz. And for these ones, I have uh, an audio comment. So here is a question for the quiz number six. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you to do is to actually make comments on this. You can click on comment and when you click on comment there's a telephone make a phone comment that's if you're using your your uh, smartphone you can actually comment using your smartphone you can click on a webcam comment if you have a uh, video available uh, but uh, you can just click on record where it's going to record your voice and what you have to do is you have to actually um, uh, speak into some sort of a microphone on your computer and uh, respond to uh, the question that they're asking you. This slide is asking you what the parameter is and uh, what the distribution is supposed to be. So you can click on record and start recording. And we can start talking and you can say, notice that your, uh, your cursor now has become a pencil and you can click on one of these buttons uh, to circle the correct answer, whatever it might be, or uh, you can just say the parameter is the mean and then the distribution is whatever the distribution might be. And then you can click on stop recording and then and we can start can talking decide whether to save it say, or notice that you cancel your, uh, that particular your recording. Cursor now has become a pencil. You can save it and then it would be added on as a recording. And then you move on to the next slide and do the same thing. You click on either video or record and then to answer these questions. All right, so um, I hope this works out for you. By the way, there's one more little tip. What you can do is uh, you can go to the voice, uh, voice thread homepage again and uh, you can click on my voice and click on uh, voice threads shared with me and then so if this is something that you're working on you should be able to click on uh, extra credit number six if you've already started to work on it you can click on that and that would allow you let's say you clicked on that that would allow you a bigger screen to work this with. This is an opportunity for you to make and with a big screen to work with uh, you can even enter the full screen so that uh, you can write if you're deciding to write on the, on the slides. All right, have fun with this.